Hello, welcome to this uh, challenging weak acids exam question. It's dealing with the idea of a uh, pH of an acid base mixture, given initial data about the acid and base. First of all, let's look at how to visualize this idea. In this type of question, you'll be given a word description of your two components with the original volumes and concentrations, and then you'll be asked to calculate the pH of the resulting mixture. You need to think about which is left in excess, the acid or the base, and how many moles there are of this substance. What's the new combined volume once the two separate volumes are added? And using the moles left in excess, what is the new concentration using this new volume? And then when you've got the concentration, you can work out the pH. So let's look at this example. You imagine two beakers, and you take the data from the question, and you work out the actual moles of each separate component. You then add them together, and you get a combined volume. And the combined volume is 800 centimetres cubed, because obviously you have 300 in one beaker and 500 in another. So now what we've got to do is take this as a reaction. So those two components will react with each other in a one to one ratio. So therefore, if you look at the uh, NaOH, there's an exact amount of HCOOH that will react with. So what you need to do now is think about the HCOOH, which is obviously in excess. There's more of it to start with. So you, you subtract from the original 0.10 moles how much methanoic acid has actually been um, used up. And that gives you a new amount of 0 0.07. So the concentration of HCOOH is going to be the number of moles of HCOOH left over over the total volume, which is the combined 800 centimetres cubed. So that gives us 0 0.0875. So now what we do with that is the Ka expression. We're given the Ka value of methanoic acid in question. So we know that H plus is going to be the square root of Ka times the concentration of a methanoic acid, which we've just worked out. So therefore we multiply the two together and you square root that to get H plus, which gives us 3.9465174 times 2 times 10 to the minus 3. That can go into the pH um, calculation, minus log of H plus concentration, which gives us 2.40. So looking at a, a similar question, uh, the question starts off by asking you to show by calculation that 20 centimetres cubed of sodium hydroxide is required to reach the endpoint, and the sentence at the very top has two separate components. So what you do, pause for a moment and see if you can do this. So I'm now assuming you've had a go at that. And again, we take our two separate components and we work out how many moles are in each one. And for our ethanoic acid, or propanoic acid I should say, again, the concentration times volume is 2.0 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. So a one-to-one -one mole ratio exists between those two components. So therefore, number of moles of sodium hydroxide required to neutralize that particular quantity of C2H5COH is again 2.0 to 10 to the minus 3 moles. So the volume of 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide required to provide that quantity is N over C, so moles over concentration, which gives us 0 0.02 decimeter cubed equals 20 centimeters cubed. Then they want you to calculate the pH of the final solution. So you need to use the data from the previous part. You might want to pause, go back, jot down the data and come back to this. So I'm now assuming you've had a go at that. So again, the two beakers. And in each one, you'll have the amount of moles that were there to start with. The final solution is 70 centimetres cubed. So again, sodium hydroxide will react with an equal amount of propanoic acid. So the new amount of sodium hydroxide is 4.5 times 10 to the minus 3 minus 2 times 10 to the minus 3 gives you 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. So its concentration is moles over volume, the volume being 70 centimetres cubed this time. That gives you 0 0.0357.1428. So the concentration is that value. You now need to work out the pH. So using Kw, you can isolate H plus and divide Kw by um, the concentration of sodium hydroxide taking Kw from the data sheet. That gives you 2.8 times 10 to the minus 13, and that gives you 12.55 to two decimal places. Thanks for listening.